Hello watch fans, it's Anders here on Watch On Channel. Today the full review of my custom made German pilot's watch. So I did an unboxing first impressions of this watch. You can see that video if you want to learn just a little more about the watch and how I bought it and how I designed it by clicking the link up in the right hand corner or down in the description. If you want to learn a little more about Flieger watches, about pilot's watches, you can click the link up in the right hand corner or down in the description to see my video about the history of pilot's watches and six excellent pilot's watches which are kind of affordable. So this is from Dekla. Dekla is a German brand and of course it's revealed by being from Stuttgart. Stuttgart is a southern German city. The watch comes in this brown cardboard box that you open and inside you find another brown box. This time it's made out of wood. Really, really nice wooden box. Beautiful dark wood with this kind of almost leathery interior or sides. And then you have Dekla Stuttgart kind of engraved into the box and you open and inside you find the watch. Dekla is a company where you can design your own pilot's watches and marine watches. They also have some watches that you can just buy from their designs. I went with this company because I really wanted to build my own Flieger watch, my er own German pilot's watch. So this is of course a watch with a lot of history, a watch design with a lot of history stemming back to the 20s and 30s and especially 40s being watches for the German fighter pilots during World War II. Much more of the history in the video I mentioned before. So inside the box you of course get the watch and you get some really cool paperwork just explaining about the watch and here you can see your watch. This is a Pilot 40. This means it's a 40 millimeter pilot's watch. You can see when it was built and you can see which movement they installed in the. So as you can see, this watch is made of bronze. You can choose between steel and bronze. I opted for the bronze case because I wanted a bronze watch and I wanted a watch that will really age with time. And that's exactly the same that is going to happen with the leather strap that it comes on. You go and design this watch yourself. It's priced around 800 US dollars, just a little less than 700 uh, euros and that equals 800 US dollars. And I think you get a lot of value for your money. So what is really, really cool is that this is basically an in-house made watch because Dekla, they produce their own cases, their own crowns, their own hands. And as you can see in the lighting right now, these are heat treated steel blue hands. You can also get gold hands if you want. And they produce their own dials on which they lay the layout and the loom. This is the old radium super luminova, old radium. The only thing they don't produce themselves is the movement inside, the Salita SW200 movement inside. But what they do with the movement is that they actually regulate it to plus or minus seven seconds a day. And an interesting thing, the first time I measured this watch, it had run out of power and it was approximately 10 seconds plus. Now I've been wearing this watch for a week straight almost and it's between five and seven seconds a day as you can see on your screen now. And I think that is really, really cool. You get an in-house made case. They have all the machinery in bronze, in-house made hands, in-house made dial, in-house made crown. And they even take a Swiss Celisa SW200 high beat movement and they regulate it to a more acceptable tolerance. So as I revealed, this is of course a 40 millimeter watch in diameter, as you see here, exactly almost 40 millimeters, a really nice height, including the slightly domed sapphire crystal of 12 millimeters, just approximately 48 millimeters from lock tip to lock tip. And if you want to change straps, 20 millimeters. So really nice dimensions. You can opt for a larger size if you want something more realistic. The old fighter pilot, the old Flieger watches were 55 millimeters in diameter, but that's way too big to wear today. So having a closer look at the dial, you can see this is the Beobachtungsuhr dial layout. So this is kind of surveillance watch. You use this watch to time your surveillance as a pilot during World War II. And the Special thing about this 
layout is that it's extremely legible, but it has the feature on the minutes because on the outer part of the dial, as you can see here, 5, 10, 15 and so on, you get the minutes and in the inner part of the dial, you get the hours. And what is really beautiful about this layout with these steel, these blued steel sword style hands, and the very long pointy second hand is that if you look at the hour hand, it just touches about the circle of the hours. And if you look at the minute, it goes all the way out until the minute track. And then you have this long thin second hand and the long thin second hand actually touches all the way out on the railroad track around here and the outer part, which is the minutes and seconds and hours. So it's extremely legible. So as I said before, it's a very simple dial with old radium super lumino where you can opt for other dial layouts and other colors. I opted for this very kind of faded, almost cream colored dial layout to just have this very vintage old school look to actually match the bronze case. But if you look now, you can see that the loom is excellent on this watch. Sometimes these old radium style looms, instead of the white style, more modern, fresh looking looms, they are a little weaker. It's brushed all over, as you can see, really nice finish. If you smell the case, it has this, a little metallic smell compared to stainless steel watches, which actually don't really smell. So it also has this kind of industrial kind of tool watch smell to it. Really nice short locks, as you can see. And then you can opt for an onion or a diamond shaped crown. I opted for this big diamond shaped crown. It's just a push and pull crown. If you pull it all the way out, you can see you stop the second hand. If you push it in, it starts again. And of course you have manual winding of the approximately 38 hours of power reserve that this CDT SW200 movement gives you. So turning the watch over, we of course get a stainless steel case back. It's a little annoyance to me that they didn't fit the case back to actually just a little, maybe like half a centimeter, then you will be completely aligned, but it's not a big problem. Here you can see all the different information about this watch. And it's good because you don't have bronze on your skin while wearing this watch, so it won't annoy your skin. The strap is this thick, very soft leather strap, with this really nice soft leather interior. And it's also signed Degla Stuttgart. A little annoyance to me is that if you buy this watch with a bronze case, they actually don't match it with a bronze buckle and it's just not a really good match as you can see here. Of course you want the, the little extra finish with actually having the bronze buckle, but it's not a big problem. I think that could be a nice thing for Degla actually to just match it. On my 18 centimeter wrist circumference, you can see I can easily pull off these 40 millimeters just be aware that these watches, because of this very open bezel-less design with the big open dial, they do tend to feel and wear a little bit bigger than they actually are. So of course also some gripes with this watch. I do think, and maybe you can just sense it in the light here, I think that the dial or the sapphire crystal is too reflective. They should use some better anti-reflective coating if they actually use some. If you go outside in strong sunlight, it can become a little hard to read at some angles, and that's a bit of a letdown. I think you should definitely have done something more with the crystal, although this is of course kind of an affordable watch. Another thing is definitely also the buckle, as I mentioned before. It is a little bit annoying that they actually didn't match it with the case. As you saw before, the case back, they should just have made the little extra detail to actually just align the case back. It's not a big problem, you're not going to look at it, but it's just a little about the details. And this is a watch which is actually about the details because the company produced their own case, their own dials, their own hands, their own crowns, and they actually also regulate the movement. So they do a lot of work, they put a lot of work into these watches and it's a really nice value proposition if you want a high quality German made Swiss powered automatic watch. I think you get a lot of value. Go and have a look at Degla's website. You can try and, and design your own watch and find the right combination for you if you're interested. For me, this is a really cool watch. I'm really happy about having this Flieger style watch in my collection now and having it with a leather strap and a case in bronze, which is going to wear during time to look different in a year and in 10 years. I think it's really, really cool. Overall, I'm very happy about this watch. Some little details could be better, but still you pay 
way less than 1,000 US dollars for a quality in-house made watch, which is a really big value proposition in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I will see you very soon again with more reviews. Thank you. Bye.